Fun in February, something that you guys look forward to in the year? Mm, a little bit, because it's fun to get out of class and not be in there so long, you know? Uh, I didn't really know about fun in February since I'm a freshman, but it's really fun, so I kind of look forward to it during the week. Alrighty. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate the necessity of fun in February? Like, do you think that kids need a break? Uh, I'd probably give it about an 8 just because, I mean, I think they should add more stuff in there so there's more to do, right, so right. they're like dodgeball or something like that, because it's just basketball and ping pong right now. But yeah, I think it. I think it's kind of needed every once in a while. I agree with Kobe that it's needed because it's just, it, I feel like it's a weird time in the year where you've been in school for a while and you just like need a break. And we actually have like two big events this year. We have Hypnotist today, we have Talent Show on Friday. You guys looking forward to those? Which one are you looking more forward to? Not looking forward to either of them? Uh, I'm actually looking forward to the Hypnotist because I want to see if you can actually hypnotize anyone. Because I've heard people actually got hypnotized when he came a few years back. Right. I, I, I really want to get hypnotized. Er, I really am looking forward to the Hypnotist. Because I don't know, it's just cool to me. I don't know. And what about the Talent Show? Yay um, or nay? Mm, I, eh, either way, I, I don't really care if I see it or not. It's it's usually all right. Last year was pretty good. Right. Uh, I'm this not, year it's uh, a little bit more entertaining. Yeah, I'm not really like looking forward to it a ton, but I'm still like looking forward to it. But you'd still watch it? Yeah. Alrighty, thank you very much, right. guys. Um, fun in February is okay, I guess. Uh, I'd rather learn, actually, because most of the time we just skip class and go do something that we don't want to do like yesterday we had like to go in the gym and do stuff and I'm not like not really about that so I just sat in the hallway and did Rosetta Stone so I'd rather do something that's more productive with my time. So do you think that there's like an actual point to it? Do you think it just kind of gives people a break or? I mean fun in February is supposed to be fun but I feel like it's also supposed to be helpful and we, it's not helpful if we go to school and don't do anything like yeah we should have a talent show that's fun that's nice but having a break off of, like, I had a break for, like, an hour and a half doing absolutely nothing because it's fun in February. So you'd rather, you'd rather put some work into your time instead of just... I mean, if I'm going to come to school, I'd rather work. Like, I wouldn't just want to chill out. Like, if it's fun in February, then I'd like to stay home. All right. <laughs> um, well, you did mention the talent show, and I know we have a hypnotist this year. Are you excited about either of those things? Like, do you have a favorite part that you actually do? Uh, I'd to? rather do the talent show because the talent show is like fun and it's easy going. It's not like, oh, it's like their talent. Like, oh yes, it's just like, oh, she's just going to get up there or he's just going to get up there and have some fun. Right. It's just kind of like... The and the hypnotist thing. is okay, I guess. I don't know. I've never seen one, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> And you're, you're a part of the talent show, aren't you? Yeah, I'm rapping with a foreign exchange student named Natalia. <laughs> to, to what song? Uh, Supersonic by JJ Fad. You know it all the way through? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You excited? Yeah, but I'm also kind of scared because I know that people are really judgmental. And I mean, I usually don't care about their opinions, but it's kind of annoying when people will just talk about you. All right, thank you very much. All right, Mr. Strasser, this is a different way to see you than we normally do. Yes. Could you explain to us a little bit how, how you ended up where you are? Uh, Mr. Pearson asked me if I would uh, take part in this fundraiser for our FFA. So how much is it per piece of tape? A dollar for five feet. A dollar for yes. five feet. And anybody can just come up and get a piece of tape and put it on the principal. Yep. Correct. It's a good incentive. <laughs> so how long do you think you're going to be up there? At least an hour and a half to make it through all the lunches. And are they going to... I don't know how long they're going to leave me hanging. Yeah, I was going to say. All the lunches so everybody can see the display. Right. Alrighty, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Is fun in February something that you look forward to? Yeah, because February is boring. And fun in February is fun. Why, why do you say February is boring? Because it's kind of cold and depressing, and there's such a long gap between... Um, Christmas break and spring break, so it's just kind of a, a little break. Relax? Yeah. 
Uh, what's your favorite part of Fun of February? I like the talent show, but I hear that we're going to have a hypnotist come on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. And I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know what to think, but I'm excited. So two events this year to actually look forward to? Yeah. Alright, question. Are you going to dress up? We have dress up days, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hmm. I might. What are they? I think Farmer Day's Friday and Character Day's tomorrow. I forget Thursday. Thursday. Isn't it Throwback or something? Yeah, Throwback. I think I think I'll do Throwback, and maybe Farmer. Two out of three. Yeah. That's not a bad score. All right. Last question, Jess. On a scale of one to ten, how do you rate the necessity of fun in February? The necessity. I'm going to say an eight. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is fun in February something that you look forward to? Yes. Not really that much, honestly. So we have two different opinions here. Why do you look forward to it? Because, like, for, like, when we get back from Christmas break and we're doing, like, all the schooling, I just think it's cool to, like, have a week where it's just, like, laid back. Right, right, right. I can agree right. with that, but see, the title is fun in February, but I feel like it only targets certain people's definition of fun, and I feel like if we expand that horizon more, then more people will actually look forward to it. Right, right, <coughs> definitely. It's more just kind of like sports and stuff. Isn't yeah. It? More games? Yeah. Alrighty. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate the necessity of fun in February? Mm. I feel like a seven. I was gonna say six. Six, seven? That's kind of like where we've, we've not had anybody say it below five so far. So I think people like it. All right, um, we kind of have two big events this week for Fun in February. We have the Hypnotist <laughs> and we also have the talent show. Yeah. So how do you guys feel about that? Excited? Are you looking forward to one more than the other? I think I'm super excited yeah. for the Hypnotist because it's something like I don't think a lot of people have actually like, experienced before. Mm -hmm. And then for the talent show, I just always get really excited because it's nice to see what other people like are like brave enough to go and show everyone right, their talent right. and see like your peers. yeah, it's cool to see like what they can actually do behind you know studying in a book or practicing right, for a test. See what they do in their free time. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous for like the hypnotist thing because you know he like puts you to sleep or whatever. Like, <laughs> what if you don't wake up? Like I don't know. I just feel like something could go wrong. But right. the talent show's good. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, I think it's going to be a good one this year. I hope so. Different acts than just singing this year, I think. And you have a thing of milk. What is that about? They're outside the lunchroom. They were, like, doing this milk challenge where, like, they would get four people, and then you would race to see who could chug it the fastest, and obviously I did not win. <laughs> but I think it was really nice to just see something new come out of Fun in February. Well, I mean, I don't even know if it's part of Fun in February, but it was really nice to see people up and active in things like that. So doing that, is that your definition of fun? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty fun. <laughs> like the competition. Uh, we also have dress-up days. I think today was one, tomorrow, and Farmer Day on Friday. Yeah. You, you guys I think can participate? today was character day. Character yeah, day, I right? was yeah. going to. I have my stuff in my locker, actually. Are you guys going to dress up the other ones? No. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> What's tomorrow? I don't understand. Throwback like, Thursday. Yeah, how would you like, throw back? Would you just wear clothes? To I work feel like people are just going to go shopping at Goodwill and say, this is throwback. <laughs> right, probably. Which I feel like that's not really throwback. Right, that's true. Are you guys looking forward to see what people kind of come up with? Yeah, them? it's nifty to see like, I the think, different ideas. I think people should be more involved in the character, like the, not the character, but like the dress up days. Like, I, I always want to, but like then I only see like a, a select few people do it and that really makes me draw back and like refrain from doing it because I don't want to be like the only, only person one. yeah like that sounds weird because most people want to be the person that stands out but I don't want to be you just want to be a part of the group yeah and have fun all, together. all right well thank you very much ladies you're yeah. welcome